This girl has kind of been lonely and sad and, and has been sitting in a corner. I went over there and said, what's wrong? And she said, this group of people keep on bullying me and calling me names and pushing me around and I've just been tired of it, but I don't know what to do. There was a boy that always sat by himself. I didn't want to seem pushy or accuse him of anything. But then one day um, he walked up and I noticed cuts up and down his arm. I've personally been reached out to by one of my close friends. One of his close friends was actually like threatening to commit suicide. I made a decision to kind of talk to a hope advisor, but also give her some of my own words about it. After we talked, she felt a little better, so she finally went to the counselor, and then after that, she's really grown up to stand up for other people and stand up for herself. Then the next day, I um, said, your name's this, right? And he was like, yeah, and I was like, I'm Riley. I was like, I really need some help with this, whatever subject we were learning. I was like, can I sit by you today? I really need to look at how you take notes because clearly I'm not taking them that well. And he said, yeah, of course. And then this went on. I started sitting with him more and more. It was the first time that that had actually happened and that someone had reached out to me. But I'm in Hope Squad. Like, I, I know what I'm supposed to do. And I referred her to our intervention specialist, knowing that this was a trustworthy adult who could actually help. And I think that she's doing better. Um, as a high school principal, I had experienced um, young people taking their lives. Uh, and it really touched me. And then in 1997, I was contacted by the Provo Police to come down and identify the body of a 14-year-old who had taken his life in the public park next to my school. When I got done, walked to my car, and I, I literally threw up and sobbed. This was an amazing young man who came from an amazing family. Um, and that's when I made a vow that I would do everything I could to help prevent suicide. My name is Dr. Gregory A. Hudnall. I am the founder of Hope Squad. Hope Squad is a suicide prevention group where kids can talk to other kids if they're feeling sad. It's formed to help students who are in crisis, like thinking, I don't think I should be alive or something's going on and I don't know what to do. Hope Squad is built around the concept of peer-to-peer. -peer. We went through the school and asked every student, if you were struggling and needed to talk to someone, list the names of three of your peers that you would feel comfortable going to. And the most amazing thing happened, the same 40 names rose to the top out of 2100. Each student nominates three people to be in whole squad. It's not something that principal gets to choose. Like It's something that peers think, who, who can you talk to and who would fully understand? People that are helpful and nice and very caring and love to give hugs. Oh, it's definitely a wide variety of people, especially since they come from all grade levels, all extracurricular activities, basically all different avenues of teenagers. When I heard about Hope Squad, I was excited. I've seen in my own daughter, Kennedy, she's always had a heart to help people. So to, to be able to be empowered with more information and to focus that uh, and to use that to help kids has been great. It's all about, you know, how to listen, bad secrets, um, safe secrets, standing up to bullying and prevention. And it's all about really and truly about being a friend to someone you see is hurting. Hope Squad has helped me definitely know when somebody just needs a friend and they feel lonely. I just say, hey, how's your day going? You want to eat lunch with me? They taught us to recognize when somebody is to the extreme level of suicidal thoughts or even at just the smallest level of anxiety or stress. And I hadn't realized the amount of people that I saw on a day to day basis that really struggled with these things and were actually showing me but I've never noticed. I'm one counselor, 900 kids. I can't see it all, teachers don't see it all. And sometimes they don't see it. But kids who recognize signs of depression or anxiety or sadness or loneliness, kids, they see everything. There's a big stigma with kids hearing these kind of things. And I'm not sure why, just, just talking about it is, 
It, it empowers people. It, it has to start early, and kids are resilient. Just because you say suicide doesn't mean they're going to commit suicide. It just means they're, they're going to ask questions, and that opens up the line of communication to have the conversation. What is suicide? Why do people do suicide? This issue is already in the minds of every teenager. It's already surrounding our campus, almost like an atmosphere. So why not talk about it? Why not bring awareness to it? And I think that by having something that shines light on the issues, that usually fixes the issues. The schools that don't have Hope Squad, they need to get Hope Squad because we need to change the culture, not only in the schools, elementary, but we need to change the culture throughout America and throughout the world. It's time to educate them and it's time to talk about the issues with them. It is time to empower them.